houses. The little kind of unique things to Anche that I discovered in order to make your birdhouse uh, to do a better job of it. So uh, I'm going to do a real basic one here. I'm going to do a sketch. And these guys are annoying, so I'm just turning off the visibility on those planes. Flip over to the top. Um, let's see. I'm going to do something real basic here. Uh, and again, once you type that, once you've clicked and clicked, you can then change it. So I'm going to make it uh, like six inches here and four inches here. And then again, hold down the scroll wheel. You can center it. Uh, I'm going to do, I'm going to do this here in a shot, one shot here. So I'm going to do a boom, boom, fill it. Um, let's make that a, a big fillet and we'll do four of those and okay so I got those fill did I get a fillet there would you see that I did not know it had that. I clicked on them and then it had a little picture of a mouse telling me to click the left mouse button. Well, that was interesting. Okay, so I'll finish that sketch and then I will hold down the right mouse button to rotate a little bit and we'll extrude it about, uh, we'll make it six inches. Okay. So I've got this, this is kind of my, click my check mark. So that's gonna kind of be the base of my birdhouse. Again, you're gonna do something different. I'm gonna show you uh, uh, a loft if you wanna do that, um, but you can do, uh, it, I'd really like you to do it with a theme. This is just gonna be a basic birdhouse, but if you have a theme like in the past, I've, there'll be some pictures to give you some ideas. But I, um, so I am going to, under plane, I'm gonna do a, not offset surface, but plane, click here, and then offset, I think this will work, like four inches. Let's see if that did it. Nope, it didn't. Okay, I had a little trouble with this. We're gonna try it. I'm gonna keep going until I get this one here. Um, There we go, now I got it. So now I can put in a, a number here, like four inches, and click the check mark. And so now I have one up in the upper space here. Because uh, what I want to do is I'm going to sketch. Again, I click sketch and click the edge of the work plane, just like with uh, Inventor. I'm going to put a little circle here. We'll make it 0.5. And have that sketch. And then this is where I'm going to do a loft for you could have I could have extruded something done a fill or whatever. I'm going to do a loft because lofts are cool. So I'm going to go from here to here. Now, this is the important thing, because if you want to change the colors of different pieces, if I just do add, it makes it still part one. If I click new right here now, when I click the check mark, I have this and see it's a different color. And what I can do is I can right click on these parts. I, I can click on this part and um, edit appearance. And so I can make that a, uh, a blue roof and then take that. And then I can take part one. I can edit appearance and make it yellow. Okay. And do that. If I hadn't clicked new, I wouldn't have been able to do that. Okay, so now at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to shell it, and I'm just about done with what I'm going to do for you guys. I'm going to shell it, and I don't want to remove any faces. If if you have, if it, well, let me just do it, and I'll show you. I'm going to make it hollow. I'm going to make that a little bigger. I'm going to make it an eighth of an inch, 0.125, and I click the check mark. Okay, if you get a red, if it's red, you can see here. It didn't work. Um, oh, I know why. Because, wait, I bet you. Um, no. Aha. 
Aha. Now it's not red anymore. See, I had to click both of them because they were separate parts. So you, it'll merge it into one thing. So now it's hollow on the inside. It, another, so if it's red, it means it didn't work. And what you might have to do is it might be because I did this before and I had a really sharp point up here. It couldn't shell into it. You remember, I've talked to you about that. So you just, you have to shell it at this point. Now what I'm going to do, just to show you that indeed it is hollow, I'm going to, I'm going to go straight to this because I know I just want to cut this. I'm not dimensioning it or anything at this point. Um, I want to remove. And you can see inside that indeed it's hollow in there. Okay. And then I'm just going to, just to show you that I can do the color one more time, I'm going to put another sketch on the front here. And I'm going to make a littler circle. It's going to make me a little perch. Let's make that go a little farther, like three inches. Well, that's okay. It's a little long. Okay. And so now, oh, you see what I did? Oh, when I do this, watch what I have. I can't, um, I can't change the color of just that. So let me go back. I can fix that. Click on my extrude again, but this time click on new. See? Beautiful. Now I can come over here, click on part three, edit appearance. Uh, let's make that brown like it's a um, really dark brown, like it's a wood. Okay. So, um, and up there, my little, that's, that work plane was the one I didn't use, but this work plane turned off the visibility and at the voila, close enough. This was one I make pretty similar birdhouses. <laughs> that was one I made yesterday. Um, so this is what you're going to do. Try to be a little more, have more fun with it than this. This is this really basic. Come up with a theme, um, like you'll see some of the pictures in the PowerPoint, and then you'll do a uh, two-slide PowerPoint picture of the birdhouse and a dimension multi-view, please, of it, so that I can see make the the dimensions reasonable for a birdhouse. And uh, we're good. Have fun with it.